It's time now for high school baseball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. From West Lafayette, Ohio, it's time for high school baseball as the Highland Hawks open up the 2024 campaign and look to defend their state title as they battle the Ridgewood Generals in an IVC South matchup. We'll talk with Hawks head coach Chris Degas coming up next on the pregame show. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Discover this new construction plan unit development, single family home, located at 1001 Sycamore Lane in Millersburg. That is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $239,000. This townhouse property was built in 2023 and has two bedrooms and two full baths with 1,400 square feet. Located in the West Hills Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Pedro Guzman at 330-852-4111 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Kime Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Kime in Charm, Ohio. Kime, built on trust since 1911. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Resetting your password, unsubscribing from emails, printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Humble Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HumbleGRP.com. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. 
Looking to upgrade the exterior of your home? Siding is indeed the best bang for your dollar. Hi, I'm Nevin Mass with Home Siding Contractors. We have the best siding on the market today, and the low-maintenance aspect of our siding is what our customers enjoy the most. Provia Siding fits that bill exactly. No frequent painting or staining with wood siding. No routine sealing like stucco. Provia Siding lasts. Check out all we have to offer at our new and improved showroom east of Millersburg, and let our experienced sales team show you how affordable our products can be. It's time now for Inside the Dugout, brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Jake's out of here with Hawks head coach Chris Degas. Uh, coach, you're supposed to start on Saturday. Weather wasn't uh, cooperating, so you're going to open up against an IVC foe. Uh, what's it like to just getting back out on the diamond? Oh, it's it's great to finally be back outside, and uh, guys are tired of practicing inside, and they're they're ready to play a game that that means something. Coach, coming off uh, the program's second state title a year ago. Uh, you lost a lot of key guys, but you got a lot of guys uh, coming back, and you got some new faces. Yeah, uh, like you said, we got a lot of guys coming back with a lot of experience, and they're they're ready to roll. And we got a lot of young guys that are ready to step in and prove what they can do. So I'm excited to see what this uh, lineup uh, turns out to be. Well, we were just talking. Uh, we're going right from basketball season to baseball season. You had a few guys that were on that state runner-up basketball team. Uh, how? How does that uh, change the way you approach the beginning of a season? Well, uh, not much at this point because those guys haven't seen a live pitch or taken a ground ball yet so far. So uh, it'll, we'll get them back into the mix as soon as we can. But uh, uh, the lineup we're going with today is guys that have been in our scrimmages and have been at practices all winter. So, yeah, I'm excited to have those guys back for sure and get those guys up to speed. Who do you got on the mound today? Uh, Finn Schneider is going to throw for us today, senior. Yeah, well, Coach, thanks for your time today. Good luck against Ridgewood. Thank you. Stay tuned. More to come on the pregame show here on WKLM. Inside the Dugout has been brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEB Systems and Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MBB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MBB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mbbsystems.com. Get ready for Easter with these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have USDA Select Boneless Beef New York Strip Steak, $9.98 a pound. 20% off whole hams or half hams. 16 to 20 count cocktail shrimp for $8.69. We also have fresh ground chuck, $3.98 a pound. USDA Select Boneless Bottom Round Steak, or $18 a pound. USDA Select Boneless Bottom Round Beef Roast, $3.98 a pound. And Pork Shoulder Pork Steak for $1.98 a pound. That's now through Saturday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Millersburg.
At Pomerine Hospital, they understand that access to quality health care is essential for rural and small town residents. Each day, their specialists provide nationally recognized care at facilities across Holmes, Ashland, and Tuscarawas counties. Whether you're growing a family or making the most of your golden years, you can trust them for reliable patient outcomes at every stage of life. From outpatient services to advanced treatments, learn how they're setting a new standard for community-based health care. And remember that no matter where life takes you, Pomerine is just around the corner. Find the location at Pomerine hospital.org. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mixed concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hovren's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pole that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right, Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. And welcome back to Ridgewood as we get set for this matchup between the Hawks and the Generals. Both these schools coming in with a record of 0-0 as we open up the season and IVC South play. A season ago, Ridgewood was 9-11 overall. They were 6-6 in IVC South play. Meanwhile, Highland 30-1 last season, 11-1 in the IVC South. They were outright IVC South champions and they defeated Rushi in the Division IV state title game 14-4 at Canal Park in Akron. Both these teams looking to have good seasons. A lot of young talent on this Ridgewood Generals team, and again, a lot of uh, returning talent from the state championship team a year ago from the Highland Hawks. We'll take another timeout. We'll come back, take a look at other action around the area here on WKLM. Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hirschberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where home ownership begins. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Firestone Farm Tires are the most preferred tires in America. Not only are they proven to be among the most productive farm tires you can buy, they're backed and serviced by the best trained and equipped farm tire dealer, the certified Firestone Farm Tire dealer. So whether you need top quality Firestone Farm Tires or fast, dependable tire service, count on us to keep you rolling. Get your Firestone tires at Millersburg Tire Service. State Route 39, Millersburg. 
Hi, this is Corey with Burgett Insurance. If you can't remember the last time you've reviewed your insurance policies, you're not alone. Burgett Insurance and Buckeye Insurance Group work together to make sure you are properly covered. Call the friendly, knowledgeable staff of Burgett Insurance at 330-276-3791. We provide service that exceeds expectations and coverage that meets your needs. Buckeye Insurance Group and Burgett Insurance, working together to protect you. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and culvert pipe and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jenner's or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks. Thinking about adding a deck or a new door? MRV Siding Supply has 35 to 40 store doors on display in their state-of-the-art showroom with sliding patio doors in a new trending colors. Choose from a selection of indoor patio doors, Aries patio doors, Aspect patio doors, and designer hinge patio doors. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, along with Newark in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. Ridgewood, Jake Seidel with you. Our crew today from Claxton Communications, our producer Judd Bone, our camera operators Aiden Garibrandt and John Wayne, Michael Hammonds back at WKLM Sports Central, and I'm joined by Zach Smith uh, this afternoon. Zach, always great to have you along for a ball game. Always great to be here, man. It, nothing says the year is moving on <laughs> like first pitch on day one of baseball, and I mean, gorgeous weather we got here too at 66 degrees. It's, it's going to be a fun day. It's beautiful, albeit a little chilly in the press box with the wind blowing straight in through the windows but I think we'll manage so other action going on around the area this evening as we open up the high school baseball and softball seasons West Holmes baseball is at Hillsdale and Carrollton host Garraway and high school softball going on just uh, across the center field fence from us will be Highland taking on Ridgewood Orville visits West Holmes and TCC hosts Garraway and in boys varsity tennis Highland is at Maslin and West Holmes hosts Norway. Now, Zach, we talked a little bit uh, about the weather, but uh, you really can't ask for a better day for a baseball game uh, in late March, early April. It's always hard to get games in early in the season. Uh, Highland had a cancellation on Saturday, but uh, beautiful weather for today. Especially with the fact that there was a little bit of snow hanging around this area over the weekend. You're sitting here now, it's 66 degrees, just another prototypical day here in Ohio where we go from rain and snow and just the grossest weather you can imagine. <laughs> to just gorgeous, gorgeous 
uh, cloud-free skies. I mean, little wisps here and there, but the wind is going to be the big factor for me here today. I mean, you sit here and you look at the ball, and the way that the wind is coming in right from left center right in here to where we sit here behind home plate anything popped up is going to stay in the infield i don't expect a lot of balls to go yard today unless there's a lot of power in them but watch the the small ball really be a big factor tonight just get the ball out into the infield move station to station that's how you're going to score runs in the most effective way in the uh, two preseason games i had numbers for for highland uh, no home runs, but they did have six doubles in that. Uh, and that's uh, part of, partially is a testament to Highland speed. And they bat 286, too. You know, I don't want to make all the money ball references in the world, but get on base. That's the easiest way to win games. And four walks through those first two scrimmage games for Highland. And that's the nice, easy way. Let the defense guide you. Get on base. Score a couple of easy runs. Go from there. We'll take another timeout. When we come back, we'll get you our starting lineups and tonight's first pitch just about 15 minutes away here on WKLM. Spring is in the air, and so are the savings at Wayne Door. Don't miss out on their annual spring sale, happening April 1st through the 6th. Upgrade your home with their premium garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. Visit their Dover and Cambridge showrooms and discover the perfect blend of style, security, and savings. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, enter their raffle for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit WayneDoor.com for more details. More than just garage doors, from the people you can trust. Unlock your potential at Buckeye Career Center's Spring Open House on Thursday, March 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. This is your chance to explore cutting-edge programs, meet passionate instructors, enjoy dinner, and apply for next school year at this combined high school and adult education event. Plus, join us for an alumni gathering in the Joe Carlisle Marketplace. The $50 adult education application fee will be waived for those who apply at the event. Join us Thursday, March 21st at Buckeye Career Center for our Spring Open House. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Danko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. A single family home located at 2735 Township Road 444 in Walnut Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $399,000. This property was built in 1938 and has six bedrooms and three full baths with 2,925 square feet located in the East Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Steve Mogg at 330-852-4111 or check Check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Kime Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Kime in Charm, Ohio. Kime, built on trust since 1911. 
Hi, this is Kerry Taylor, and at Millersburg Electric, we understand that your time is valuable, and you deserve a salesperson who will listen to your needs and budget, then works hard to search for availability of the right appliance to get to you in the timeliest manner. As part of a multi-million dollar buying group, our pricing is just as competitive as all those larger stores, and we get quick access to thousands of appliances. Finally, we'll send a dedicated delivery and install team to your home, and we offer service on your purchase long after the sale. Since 1945, Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 or 24-7 at millersburgelectric.com. Starting lineups brought to you by Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative. As spring construction and tree planting projects begin, please remember to know what's below and call before you dig. Call 811 so within 48 hours, utilities can mark where underground service lines are located to keep you safe. Taking a look at the starting lineup for Chris Degas and the Highland Hawks. Again, the defending Division Four state champions, they will line up like this. Leading it off at first base is number 23, Caden Koblenz. Batting second, the center fielder, number 22, Cody Yoder. Batting third as the designated hitter today will be Colin Koblenz, wearing number seven, and he is batting for the pitcher, number 41, Finn Schneider. In the cleanup spot will be the shortstop, number 26, Brady Yoder. The second baseman, wearing number three, Caden Candle, bats fifth. Batting sixth will be the left fielder, number 16, Logan Yoder. The third baseman, wearing number 27, and batting seventh is Luke Hirschberger. Danny Hostetler behind the plate, bats eighth. He wears number 24, and rounding out the bottom of the lineup for Chris Degas and the Hawks will be the right fielder, number two, Wyatt Miller. Now with the starting lineup for Ridgewood here, Zach Smith. For the Generals and Coach Chad Laney, they look like this leading off. Number one, Jackson Cavett. He'll play center field today. Number two, J or number 15, excuse me, bats number Number two, Jace McQueen, he plays shortstop. In the three hole, the first baseman, number eight, Caleb Schultz. Batting fourth for the catcher, Bro Brady Harding, is number 24, Carter Kelly, the designated hitter. In the five hole, number three, Mason Kaiser, he will be at third base. At the six spot, number four, Logan Reidenbaugh, he'll be out in right field. The left fielder, Grant Lommers, he bats seventh, wears number two. In the eighth spot, Cohen Park. Parsons, the pitcher, he wears number 10 and rounding out the nine, number 12, Robbie Gaston. He's going to be the second baseman. The starting lineups have been brought to you by Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative. With the arrival of spring, often we experience storms with high winds and lightning. Remember, you can report a power outage through their mobile app, Smart Hub, or text 55050. You can also view their outage map on their website at hwecoop.com. Remember, Never go near a down power line. We'll take a timeout and be back with the National Anthem next here on WKLM. Configuring the Bluetooth. Deciding who controls the music. Remembering where you parked. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your vehicle doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things. Like remembering if you're on the third or fourth level of the parking garage. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio, and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at YoderFamilyRoofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. With today's market instability, many homeowners are looking to upgrade their existing home rather than buy or build a new one. At Home Siding Contractors, we know choosing the many colors and styles of siding, replacement windows and doors can be overwhelming. At Home Siding Contractors, we can help make that decision easier. Durability, beauty, and low maintenance over time describes our products the best. Call Home Siding Contractors today at 888-725-6619 and let our professional staff help upgrade your home today. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. 
Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEB Systems and Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MBB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MBB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mbbsystems.com. Get ready for Easter with these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have USDA Select Boneless Beef New York Strip Steak, $9.98 a pound. 20% off whole hams or half hams. 16 to 20 count cocktail shrimp for $8.69. We also have twin pack pork butts, $1.78 a pound. Pork shoulder western ribs, $1.78 a pound. Gerber's Boneless Skinless Chicken Breast, $5.28 a pound. And ham shank portion for $1.48 a pound. That's now through Saturday at Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Palm Marine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Palm Marine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Palm Marine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pole that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right, Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423.
Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB Advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. When you work the land, you know out there in some far corner of a field, there's an old steel fence post that has your number. And that's when you should have ours. We're your certified Firestone Farm Tire dealer. And when you need service, give us a call. We're specially trained and equipped to handle all your on-farm, in-field tire repair and replacement needs. Call Millersburg Tire Service, State Route 39 Millersburg, for your farm tire needs. Moments away from today's first pitch, and once again, our national anthem a little bit earlier was brought to you by the Holmes County Veterans Service Center in Millersburg. Jake Seidel and Zach Smith with you for this one to open up the OHSAA and IVC South Seasons. Beautiful day here in West Lafayette. Uh, some clouds in the sky, winds gusting up to 20 miles an hour and sitting in the mid-60s. Cohen Parsons going to be our starting pitcher for the Ridgewood Generals. The right-hander warming up right now, and he will face off against Caden Koblenz, Cody Yoder, and Colin Koblenz to start this ball game. As they throw down, we get set to get going. Gives us time to tell you that today's first pitch is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body. Remember, if you get into a collision, make your first call to Finish Line Auto Body, where they have experts in collision repair and will even help with up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call at 674-1483. Koblenz steps in as it's a righty-righty matchup to get us started. Parsons kicks and fires, and we are underway at 5 o'clock. First pitch runs low for a ball, 1-0 count now. As Parsons gets the sign. Now comes set, fires, that one's outside, make it 2-0 to the righty Koblenz. That's going to be the challenge with the wind coming in right now because it's coming in from left center. Everything you have to throw with a little bit of that wind in mind, movement on pitch is going to be really scary to watch. The next one swung on, tapped towards third, and it's going to be a foul ball, so it'll make it a 1-2 count. Home plate umpire making that call right away as soon as the ball was fielded near the third base bag, so it'll be a 2-1 uh, count. It was close going right down the dirt there. Great job by Kaiser just to play it and throw it regardless. Koblenz in the preseason from what I saw in the two numbers, did not record a hit. But he's a leadoff hitter here is the 2-1. That one swung on, grounded sharply past the pitcher, fielding at the second baseman. Gatson throws on the first, not in time. A hustle single there for Koblenz to get us started. So one on and nobody out. That'll bring up Cody Yoder, the center fielder. Yoder in the preseason. He's batting 333. It's first pitch to the righty up high for ball one, 1-0. One -oh. Second straight batter so far that Parsons has thrown that first pitch ball to. Yoder two for six in the preseason with an RBI. He also had two doubles and walked once. And Koblenz does have speed over at first. It's Parsons fires. That one got the uh, corner chest high. That'll leave in the count at one and one. We'll get you the defensive line up here in just a moment. It's Parsons set, checks first. Here's the one one. That one swung on sky high into right center field. The right fielder ridden ball comes in. He'll make the catch. And there is one away. 
and I'm almost ready to see Koblitz run from first to second, test out the strength of the catcher Brody or Brady Harding early, and on top of that, gauge the win, and how much is that win going to be a factor in the stealing game? I, I would be very surprised if you don't send him at all here on these uh, at-bats. Colin Koblenz will check in now. Bats left-handed, righty, lefty matchup. Parsons comes set, fires to first. Back in time is Caden Koblenz. Brody Harden behind the plate, completes the battery. Caleb Schultz at first. Robbie Gatson at second. Jace McQueen at short. Mason Kaiser at third. Grant Lammers in left field. Jackson Cabot in center. Logan Reidenbaugh, your right fielder. The first pitch. Koblenz goes, he'll slide into second safely with a stolen base. Pitch was inside for a ball. So a run in scoring position now for the Hawks here in the top of the first inning. And a 1-0 count to Colin Koblenz. Colin Koblenz, three for five in the preseason. It's the pitch inside now, 2-0. Hawks are in their red tops with white pants, white numerals on the front and back, and Hawks across the front. They're wearing red ball caps with a black bill and the Highland H insignia. Generals in the uh, almost old-style Chicago White Sox jerseys, orange with a black stripe in the middle, white pants, they got black hats on. That pitch got the outside corner, chest high, and now two and one to count to Koblenz. Biggest trend I'm seeing here early on through the first three batters, very favorable hitters counts early on. A lot of first pitch balls, 2-1 counts, and the only batter was Cody Yoder who got behind the count early on. Parsons taking a look at second. Wouldn't be surprised to see Koblenz maybe trying to go for it again as the 2-1. That pitch just a bit outside. That'll move the count to 3-1. and one. So three balls and a strike. Parsons checks on Caden at second. Shortstop makes his way to cover, but no throw. Here's the pitch. Down stairs for ball four, and that'll be the first walk of the ball game. And it'll put Hawks at first and second. That'll bring up Brady Yoder, the shortstop and cleanup hitter. Righty, righty matchup. Yoder gonna, Parsons part of me gonna check second. It's the pitch. That one swung on, lifted in the air, but slicing foul and out of play on the right hand side, 0 and 1. Well, Kime Home Center is your home building and woodworking destination, including lumber, building materials, and custom millwork. Visit Kime Home Center in Charm, Ohio, or on the web at kimehome.com. Jake Seidel and Zach Smith with you. Again, this game also being video live streamed thanks to our partners at Claxon Communications on the WKLM YouTube page. The L1 inside, now one and one. Judd Bone, our producer, Aiden Garibrand, John Wayne, our videographers, Michael Hammonds back at WKLM Sports Central. Just a quick note to pass along if you're listening on WKLMFM.com. If for any reason you lose that feed, there is a link to the Mixler feed on our Facebook page here on the game schedule on Facebook. That pitch up high and away. Now two and one the count here as Parsons struggling to throw strikes early. Despite the fact that the ball to strike ratio is actually fairly even. Eight balls thus far to six strikes. The two one swung on foul back. We'll do it now at two and two. And right now, Yoder, this is the only batter that has really had to battle thus far against Cohen Parsons. Parsons has given a lot of favorable hitters counts we've already kind of talked about. But at 2-2, two and two, this is the closest ball-to-strike ratio that we've seen thus far. Brady Yoder, 2-5 for five in the preseason, looking to get his first regular season hit. As the 2-2 two -two outside, that'll run the count full. The string out on Brady Yoder. Wind blowing in strong from left center, according to the large flag out there. So here comes the payoff pitch. 
Upstairs for ball four. Back-to-back -back walks and the bases will be loaded for the first time this season for Highland. It didn't take long for him to get there, so that'll bring up Caden Candle. The number five hitter will bat left-handed. He's at second base. Candle two for seven with a run scored and a walk in the preseason. It's the first pitch to him. Up high for ball one. And this Hawks team, we wondered, you know, missing uh, Grady Monogold, one of their key players from last year, uh, just here at the beginning as that pitch swung on, grounded towards second. Gatson will go to second for one, on to first, not in time. A run comes in on the fielder's choice, and it's one nothing Hawks. So Caden Koblenz scores, calling Koblenz to third. Brady Yoder will be out. Four to six on the fielder's choice. And Candle will get the RBI. For Logan Yoder, the left fielder. And he'll take a first pitch strike, 0 1. Like I was saying, a couple members of the baseball team on the Hawks uh, basketball team that made the run down to Dayton and finished up yesterday with a state runner up. It's the 0-1 in the dirt and coming home here is Koblenz. The slide is not in time as the catcher parting able to get the tag. And that'll go down as a caught stealing for Colin Koblenz to retire the side. But one run comes across on one hit. No errors in the inning. And they'll leave one on base. And as we go to the bottom of the first, it's 1-0 Highland here on WKLM. This is Jeff Allison at Burgett Insurance. I have partnered with Buckeye Insurance Group to provide our customers with insurance coverage at competitive rates, backed by outstanding service. If you would like a no-obligation review of your farm, home, or auto insurance, see me, Jeff Allison at Burgett Insurance. Buckeye Insurance Group and Burgett Insurance, working together to protect you. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and culvert pipe and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jitters or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks. Check out the new Culture Provia Manufacturer Stone Options at MRV Siding Supply. The deep shadow lines combined with authentic coloring produce dramatic effects in all of Provia's manufactured stone products. Choose from a selection of 11 different styles in many different colors. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. The senior right-hander, Finn Schneider, going to tow the rubber for the Hawks here to start game number one. He worked two innings in the preseason, gave up one earned run on seven hits, seven runs overall, but he did strike out three. As right now, well, I should say in the preseason, his strikeouts per seven innings was 1050. And he gets to come in here with the lead behind him. Offense doing a little bit of work in the top half of the inning, and now he just has to stay the course. So righty-lefty matchup as Jackson Cabot steps in left-handed. The pitch to him, swung on and missed. Show a little bit of heat on that one, 1 And a little bit of movement on it as well. I like going right after the batter coming in here to the bottom of the inning. We saw Parsons early on really struggle finding the strike zone, and it's really important here to come out and play it hard. The 0-1 golfed into right field. Miller will come in and get that one, and there's one away. That'll bring up Chase McQueen, the shortstop. He'll bat right-handed. Danny Hostetler behind the plate completes the battery. Caden Koblenz at first. Caden Candle at second. Brady Yoder's at short. Luke Hirschberger at third. We'll get to the outfield after the first pitch here to McQueen. Downstairs from all 1-1-0. One, one, oh. 
Logan Yoder is in left field, Cody Yoder in center, and Wyatt Miller is your right fielder. There's the defensive lineup for the Highland Hawks here in the bottom of the first inning. The 1-0 inside, now 2-0. And one thing to note here with that win coming in, look how shallow this outfield is playing. Yoder's almost into the dirt here out in center. See, 2 0. -oh. There's a called strike. Got him on the outside at the knees. Now, two balls and a strike to count. So far, our umpire really favoring that outside edge. See, 2 1. That one swung on, skied out behind, and hopefully no one uh, had their car parked too close, and that'll even the count at two and two. Rule one of baseball games, never park close to the gates. You know, for a full summer, when I was working for the Irish Hills Leprechauns in Adrian, Michigan, I parked my car right behind the press box all season long, never had an issue. The 2-2. Two -two. That one swung on sky high pop center field. Cody Yoder has to come in as he backed up at first, and he'll make the catch. And now there are two gone. Well, the conclusion of this ball game will be announcing our Charm Pizza player of the game. That player will receive a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza, located at 4416 State Route 557 in Charm. Caleb Schultz, the first baseman, steps in now. Two down, base is empty here, bottom of the first. The pitch from Schneider in there for a called strike, 0-1. Good break on that pitch, catching the inside corner. Great move. Looked like a little bit of a curve on that. See, 0 1. Swung on and missed, then followed up the curve with the heat. Now 0 2 the count. The classic combination go a little off speed, then go a little bit high. I would maybe think about working a little bit away here, let the wind take a, this pitch, maybe throw a slider on the outside. So the 0 2. Low and away. <laughs> he tried the slider, just couldn't get it in the strike zone. Now I got to elevate that just a little bit. Now, Zach, I was about to, you know, have a little fun with you about is that your professional baseball uh, <laughs> uh, advice there? It's an easy pitch. It's the little tempt me pitch on the outside corner. It's the one two downstairs, and that'll run the count full. And for the first time this season, the deuces are wild. Two balls, two strikes, and two away. As Schneider comes set, gets the sign from Hostetler, and here's the 2-2. Swung on and missing a ball in the dirt. Hostetler will field it and throw it down to first in time to complete the strikeout, 2-3. And after one inning, Highland leads 1-0 for the Generals. No runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. We'll move to the top of the second next here on WKLM. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. Well, Logan Yoder takes the first pitch he sees from Cohen Parsons and fouls it off to the screen, 0-1. Jake Seidel, Zach Smith with you. 
as Parsons comes set. His 0-1, that one swung on and missed. Now 0-2 the count. Logan Yoder in the preseason 0 for 3 with an RBI, a strikeout, and he stole a base when he did get on. See the 0-2 pitch inside. Now 1 and 2 the count. And I like going right after Yoder here to start out. Get that first two strikes thrown. Not a great first half of this game for him in the top of the first inning through 19 pitches, two walks. So I want to see you come out here, be efficient with your pitches. The one, two, swung on, laced into center field. That's going to drop as Logan Yoder will be on base with the Hawks' second hit of the ball game. That will bring up Luke Hirschberger at third base. Hirschberger, one for four in the preseason with a run scored. He'll bat left-handed. Third left-handed bat in Chris Davis' lineup today against the right-hander Parsons. Parsons set, will throw on to first, back with an eye there, gonna be Yoder. He's got a good move to first. Oh, for sure, and the thing to keep in mind is early on here with those first couple of pitches not going your way try to throw down a little bit try to get a couple of ground balls you got solid contact to get that first single into the outfield here in the second so if you can get a couple of balls low to the ground you might be able to get a couple of easy plays for your shortstop and second baseman allow that middle infield to play for the double play that one golfed into foul ground and right field and it'll fall for a strike so oh one the count now here to Hirschberger now, Hirschberger over the summer in a few of the uh, summer league contests we covered had himself a few good games. Unfortunately, I don't have those numbers right in front of me. It's the 0 1. That one swung on sky high pop on the infield. Third baseman Kaiser will come in and he'll make the catch. And there is one away. That'll bring up Danny Hostetler, the catcher. Ho Settler bats left-handed. As Parsons comes set, here's the pitch. High and away for ball one. Ho Settler two for three with an RBI in the scrimmages this season. As Parsons gets the sign, checks first. He is 1-0, hit him in the back. So he'll get on base, and that'll put Hawks on first and second. And that's good for the uh, on-base percentage. Which, in the preseason, his on-base percentage was 500. That's good. I mean, get on base any way you can. Sometimes it's a walk. Sometimes it's taking a ball to the front hip. It's not going to feel the best, but it gets you on. Brings up Wyatt Miller, also batting left-handed. Takes a pitch right on the outside corner for a strike, 0-1. Miller batting 333 in the preseason. Run scored, an RBI, and two doubles. Also had a walk. It's the 0-1. That one's outside, now 1-1. One one. Cabot playing a little bit deeper. Then we saw Yoder playing in center in the bottom half of the first. There's a big gap in right center field. If you can get one of the fence, you might be thinking triple. It's the 0 1. Swung on, tipped at the dish. And correction, that's going to be 1 2, the count. Got him on the high heat. Now, this is the perfect time to throw that breaking pitch low and inside. He got him up. Now get him down. Parsons gets the sign, checks the runner at first. Now comes set. Here's the one, two. That one swung on, grounded towards second. Up with it is Gaston. He'll throw one to first, not in time, as the runner drops the ball. And I think that's going to go down as an E4 uh, there. That's how I'd rule it. It'll be a fielder's choice for Miller as the throw went to second. Or first, uh, went to second. Safe at second. And that was the right pitch in the right spot. That's exactly how you draw it up. Just a bit of a low throw over there to that shortstop covering. Kind of had to double clutch it over at second base was Robbie Gaston. That'll take us back to the top of the order. Caden Koblenz had an infield hustle single his first time up. Came around to score. Hawks have loaded the bases for the second straight inning with one down. 
So here's the 0-1 pitch. That one swung on sky high pop on the infield and it is going to be dropped by the catcher Harding near the fence. If that had been in foul territory, that would have been an infield fly. An 0-1 count now to Koblenz. And that's one where the wind was playing with it, dancing with it. Thought it was going to bounce off the top of the backstop here. Just an unlucky drop there. So I believe it's an 0-1 count here. I believe the scoreboard is wrong. That is 0-2. It's a pitch to Koblenz. Downstairs, now one and two the count. If you need your vehicle service, then Village Motors is the place to go. They have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians. Check out their service specials at villagemotorsinc.com or call 800-292-8842. The one-two. That one swung on, lifted high in the air, deep right field. Riding by his back, this is a foul ball. The wind, I don't know if that one just cut into the wind and couldn't uh, go straight, but if that falls, that's scoring at least two, maybe three. And a lucky break there for Ridgewood. That one just kept sailing right, right, right. Got a little, little behind on that. Got to square that one up, and that's a grand salami. I didn't think you'd see one hit that far in this wind. It's the one, two. Inside, that'll even the count, two and two. And the last thing you can have right now if you're Parsons is a full count. Not that you're going to activate the runners on that, but you got to get this guy here. You can't let Yoder come back up. Yoder at first, Host Settler at second. There's ball three, it's downstairs. Uh, pardon me, Yoder's at third, Host Settler at second, and Miller at first base. And now a full count with the bases loaded for Caden Koblenz. And time is called. Koblenz climbs back in. Parsons looks in for the sign. Here's his payoff pitch to Koblenz. Outside, ball four, and that'll walk in a run. Third walker allowed by Parsons today. And it'll be the RBI variety as Logan Yoder scores. Hostetler will move to third, Miller to second. And we will get a visit to the mound here. Easiest RBI Koblenz will get all season. Uh, if you're the Hawks, what you're excited for here is the bases stay loaded. So we'll see if we can get a score update from the softball side of things. As the umpire about to go out, we'll get the mound meeting finished. As Cody Yoder, who flew out to right field his first time up, will bat right-handed with the bases loaded. Parsons looks, fires, shows bunt. Beautiful bunt. The pitcher Parsons fields, throws on to first in time. The sacrifice is complete and will bring in a run. So score Hostetler on the sacrifice and move Miller to third, Koblenz to second, and that'll bring up Colin Koblenz, who bats left-handed. And I like the play of the sacrifice there. You guarantee the one for sure, but now anything out in the outfield scores two. That pitch called a ball, 1-0. So a 1-0 count. Hawks now lead it three to nothing. That one swung on and found off Koblenz in the box. It'll be a 1-1 count. And the depth that right now that the outfield is playing with that win coming in is interesting. I mean, we made the point earlier, Yoder playing very, very short out in center. But right now, between Lommers and Cab Cabot and Rydenbaugh, they're all playing at a fairly mid-range depth. Pitch runs low now. Two balls in a strike and ridden ball out in right field actually playing pretty deep for this wind. Any run scored until the end of the inning will be unearned thanks to that error as that pitch gets away from the catcher Harding inside but 
Miller didn't get a good jump on it. He'll remain at third, and Parsons did a good job to get to it. So here comes the 3-1 pitch from Parsons. Downstairs, the ball gets away, and now here comes Miller, and he will slide head first. He didn't need to. So Koblenz moves to first on the walk. Coming in on the wild pitch and scoring will be Wyatt Miller. And moving to third on the wild pitch is Caden Koblenz is out and bring up Brady Yoder. Runners on the corners, two away as the pitch to Yoder's up high for ball one. The eighth man to bat in the inning. Had to walk his first time up. Was cut down on a fielder's choice at second base. It's the 1-0. Downstairs and on, a, on the run on the pitch was Koblenz. He'll be in at second on a stolen base, and it's a 2-0 count. It's a 2-0. Swung on and missed now, 2-1. He had the green light for that one. A lot of favorable batting right now if you're sitting here in your highland you don't have to sit here and swing at anything i mean parsons is having a tough time finding the plate four nothing lead for the hawks here top of the second the pitch that one swung on and hit into center field and will drop and bring in a run rounding third and coming for home is koblenz he will score standing up and it's a two rbi single for brady yoder and this one's cracked wide open at six nothing Good piece of hitting, just finding the inner portion of that center field grass. And again, we talked about the depth in which Cabot out there in center is playing with the wind. You're not going to get a lot of those deep balls, but that time, great piece of hitting by Yoder to score two. Caden Candle climbs in left-handed. It's the first pitch to him up high for ball one. 0 for 1, reached on a fielder's choice his first time up and brought in a run. Five runs here in the top of the second for the Hawks. The 1-0. Swung on, lifted high in the air, right field. Riddenbach comes in. He'll make the catch in right center to retire the side. But the Hawks will send nine to the plate and score five runs on just two hits. There was one error in the inning, and they'll leave one on. And after one and a half, it's 6 nothing. Hawks. We'll take a timeout and be back here on WKLM. Attention all homeowners, are you ready to welcome spring with new doors and windows? Join us at Wayne Doors annual spring sale from April 1st to the 6th and take advantage of our exclusive deals on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. Whether you're looking to boost your home's curb appeal or enhance its security, we've got you covered with top quality products at unbeatable prices from brands like Provia and Haas Door. Don't miss out on the opportunity to transform your home this spring. Visit WayneDoor.com today and let's make your home improvement dreams a reality. Unlock your potential at Buckeye Career Center's Spring Open House on Thursday, March 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. This is your chance to explore cutting-edge programs, meet passionate instructors, enjoy dinner, and apply for next school year at this combined high school and adult education event. Plus, join us for an alumni gathering in the Joe Carlisle Marketplace. The $50 adult education application fee will be waived for those who apply at the event. Join us Thursday, March 21st at Buckeye Career Center for our Spring Open House. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Schneider fires that one swung on lifted high in the air towards second base making the catch right in front of the bag will be the second baseman candle 
And there's one away. Jake Suttle and Zach Smith with you here this afternoon in West Lafayette. Again, Judd Bone, our video producer, Aiden Garibrandt and John Wayne, our videographers, and Michael Hammond back at WKLM Sports Central. Mason Kaiser, the third baseman, steps in now. The first pitch to him called a strike of the knees, 0-1. Winds died down here just a little bit. Yoder still playing very short as the next pitch swung on and missed. Didn't get the timing right, and it's 0-2 the count. And thus far, Schneider hasn't really had to do a whole lot of work out there on the mound. 15 total pitches. It's the 0-2. That one runs low and away. Now one ball and two strikes the count. On well, the Killbuck Savings Brink. Bank proudly supports the local youth and hopes you knock it out of the park. It's the one two. Swung on, popped up, and out of play on the right hand side. And hits the road. We'll do it again at a ball and two strikes. So one ball, two strikes, one away here. Base is empty. We're in the bottom of the second inning. Six-nothing the Hawks lead after a five-run second where just two of those runs will be earned. The one-two, just a bit low. They're going to appeal down to first, and Kaiser did not go around. Thought about it for a second on that breaking ball down in the dirt, but good eye just to keep that bat on his shoulder. Schneider comes set, is 2-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Schneider this afternoon. The first was completed down to first base. I'll bring up Logan Riddenbaugh, the right fielder. He's had a busy day over there. A few balls heading his way. He'll climb in and bat right-handed. So righty, righty matchup. Two away here. Base is empty in the bottom of the second. Schneider set, the first pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch up high. Now 0 and 1 the count. And that's the beauty of finding that breaking pitch early on. You could fool on that high heat. You think it's going to drop, and then it just stays up there. Great pitch location. Schneider looks in. The 0 1 swung on, fouled off behind the press box. We'll do it now with 0 and 2. Schneider, quick work through the first two batters. And the biggest thing I'm seeing here early on, too, is Finn Schneider. He's not going to sit here and wait back. He's going right after hitters. The 0-2, swing and a miss, strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. We move to the top of the third. Hawks lead at 6-0 here on WKLM. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denco Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. A condominium located at 2779 Cove and Walnut Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions for lease with an asking price of $2,000. This property was built in 2016 and is a two-bedroom and two-bath condo at the Cove and Walnut Creek. That includes a master suite with a walk-in closet and tilted shower, fully equipped kitchen, first floor laundry, and the sunroom leading out to a new concrete patio with 1,648 square feet. Located in the East Olds Local School District. For more information, or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Kate Overton at 330-602-4111 or check it out at KauffmanRealty.com. 
For the second inning in a row, he had a single, came around to score last inning as the pitch to him. Downstairs for ball one, 1-0. Parsons back out for his third inning of work. Zach will get you some pitching numbers on him here in just a moment as the 1-0 up high now 2-0. And coming in here to this inning, 50 pitches thrown, having a lot of trouble finding the strike zone. There's been a lot of very favorable hitters counts. We've seen a lot of 2-0s, 2-1s, 3-0s, 3-1s. That's not going to be an easy way to stay on top in a ball game. Back door him with a curveball there now, 2-1 and one the count. And Yoder leading off for the second inning in a row. The 2-1. High and tight now, three and one the count. So three balls, one strike. As Parsons comes set, the three one. Inside, ball four, he walked him. And that is walk number four allowed by Parsons. He's also hit a batter. And that will bring up Luke Hirschberger. He popped out to third base his last time up. Wind blowing straight in from left center field again now, but a little weaker than it was as the first pitch to Hirschberger. That one swung on and belted to deep right field. Ridden ball back, though, able to get to it before the track, and there's one away. Holy cow, Hirschberger gave that one a ride. Yeah, but just a little bit short. Don't know if the wind was helping out on that, but... Little bit uh, less on it than maybe you wanted to, and you put a little bit more oomph in that swing. That's way over that right field line. That'll bring up Danny Hostetler, hit by a pitch his first time up. Righty lefty matchup as Parsons fires. That one's belted down the right field line. It's heading towards the fence. Hitting second, going for third is Yoder. Chris Davis will put the stop sign up, and there'll be runners on the corners with one away. Off the line drive single for Hostetler. And funny enough, all the hits that have come off of Parsons to this point have all been singles. But now that's back-to-back -back batters with really solid contact after Parsons. It's starting to look here like Highland's getting a good, uh, good tempo here on Parsons. That'll bring up Wyatt Miller. He reached on a fielder's choice. It's the first pitch to him. That one swung on, weakly tapped towards first. Schultz bottled the ball and just take it to the bag to get one out at first base. So that'll go down as three unassisted and take us back to the top of the order. As Caden Koblenz, who's one for one with a single and an RBI walk, climbs in. He'll bat right-handed, runners on second and third. Two down, Hawks lead at 6 nothing here in the top of the third. The pitch to him is up high for ball one. Well, the conclusion of this ball game, we'll be announcing our Charm Pizza player of the game. That player will receive a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza, located at 4416 State Route 557 in Charm. Sparson set. Here's the 1-0. Inside, now 2-1-0 the count. And that right now is the problem with Parsons. We talked a little bit about the pitch count and not really being in his favor, but after seeing solid contact on the couple of pitches inside the zone, now you have to start working outside, trying to draw those swings and misses. Ground ball towards short. McQueen will field, and he'll go across the diamond just in time. They'll call him out there. Great stretch by Schultz to retire the side. And after three innings, it's six nothing, but in the third, the Hawks get no runs on one hit, no errors, and they'll leave two on. We'll go to the bottom of the third inning. Hawks up six nothing here on WKLM. Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Kime Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Kime in Charm, Ohio. Kime, built on trust since 1911. 
With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Folding a fitted sheet, programming the thermostat, matching your socks. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your home doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like finding that missing sock. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. Grant Lommers to lead us off, and he hits one into center field, but Cody Yoder back on that one right off the bat, and we'll get it out on one pitch here to start the bottom of the third. Jake Seidel and Zach Smith with you. It's a 6-0 lead for the Highland Hawks here in the bottom of the third inning. I want to send a quick shout-out to Lydia Brady from our friends at Claxton Communications. Uh, making her way back. Lydia, we've missed having you here at the ballpark. Can't wait to get to work with you again. Is that pitch inside for ball one there to Cohen Parsons, the pitcher? The 1-0 from Schneider to Parsons. That one's popped up on the infield. Second baseman Candle underneath it. Coming in front, actually, the shortstop. Brady Yoder ignored the call off there and bare hands that ball to get the out. And that's a tough play. I mean, the sun's out. And you got that shade starting to come in here on the backstop playing right over home plate. But credit Yoder. I have it, I have it, I have it, and just stand with it. That'll bring up Robbie Gatson, the second baseman, the number nine hitter. Little half swing bunt. Schneider has to field, throws to first high, but coming down with it on the bag there is Koblenz, and he'll retire the side in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. We'll go to the top of the fourth, and so far Schneider, nine up, nine down. Zach Smith has play-by-play -play action in the top of the fourth on WKLM. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio, and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. At Home Siding Contractors, our mission is to give homeowners a quality product. Whether it's our vinyl siding or our energy efficient replacement windows and doors, Home Siding Contractors is ready to turn your home into one of your biggest energy saving assets. You'll notice the difference as your home will stay warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Call 888-725-6619 for a in-home estimate or find all of our products at homesiding.com. Pitch is thrown thus far for Cohen Parsons, who begins the fourth inning of work with a ball downstairs to start off 1-0. Hawks up 6-0 here from Ridgewood High School. Zach Smith, Jake Seidel. Beautiful day here for baseball here on a Monday in March. A 1-0 inside 2-0. Just to remind you who's out there, Lommers in left, Cabot in center, Ryan Baugh in right. The infield left to right, Kaiser, McQueen, Gaston, and Schultz. The 2-0-1 hit down the left field line. It's going to be fair. Trying to stretch it immediately into a double is the runner, Cody Yoder. And Yoder in there cleanly with a leadoff double. And like I said earlier in this ball game, the Hawks known for their speed. He was thinking double off the bat, I think, there. And then uh, Ridgewood a little lackadaisical getting that ball into the infield, able to stretch it into a double. Barely getting past the third base bag. And will come Koblitz with a runner on. 
and nobody out. It's been the trend here early on. Long look down, this one a high pop up, drifting into left field. Lommers under it, right on the line, will make the catch. And a easy F7 there, one out. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Holmes Ready Mix offers Ready Mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of Ready Mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. Brady Oder trotting into the box now with a man on second, one down. Parsons, the long look, misses down low and inside 1-0. Yoder one for one on the day, two RBIs, and then that walk back in the first inning. Comes in with Cody Yoder on second base with the leadoff double. Parsons, the long look down. That one high and outside, 2 and 0. Oh. Parsons has struggled, to say the least, to find that batter's box early on. Lot of balls. Wind picking up a little bit now out in left center. The 2-0 down low, bouncing to the plate. Good block by Harding to keep it in front of him. And a 3-0 count. And keep an eye on Yoder out there at second, even with the Hawks up 6-0. They're always aggressive on the base path. He's getting a decent lead out there. The pitch, high, and it's a four-pitch walk here. Now men on first and second, still just that one out. And that'll bring in Candle playing second base. 0 for 2 with an RBI back in the first inning. One of the few guys not to record a hit thus far. First pitch in there, strike one. Candle, one of the slew of left-handed at-bats in the lineup today against the righty Parsons. Not something you see all the time, and I think we got a Bach. That appears to be the case. Yoder's on the move. Cody at third, Brady at second. On the Bach. 0-1 count, one out here. And two runners in scoring position here. 6-0, Highland on top. Parsons, the pitch. High, tips away from the catcher, and another run's going to score as Yoder takes third, and it's a 7-0 game on a wild pitch. Like I said, Hawks always aggressive on the base path. I think uh, he saw that ball up high and immediately started coming home with it. So now advance Brady Yoder up to third base. Hayden Candle awaiting the pitch. 1-1. One, one. That one high and outside. The wind is picked up again uh, coming in from left center field. And with the sun beginning its descend, nowhere near sunset at this point, but the shadows could be playing with Parsons as well. 2-1. That one right down Broadway. 2-2. Two, two. Logan Yoder on deck. He's one for one with a walk. And time going to be called no, and another, another balk. Second balk here in the inning brings Brady Yoder home. Pros and cons, base path is empty. But the obvious con, it's an 8-0 ball game here in the top of the fourth. Parsons, the 2-2 home, swung on and a high pop-up. Looks to be playable, though, for Gaston at second. He'll make the catch, two down. Melway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt and paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964. Specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating for your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. 
Logan Yoder into the left batter's box. First pitch to him is high, 1-0. Yoder singled back in the second, made it all the way back around to score, and walked his last time up. The 1-0 from Parsons is going to be inside. Ball two. I have that as pitch number 15 of the inning for Parsons. One ball, one strike, two outs. Misread the scoreboard, the pitch. High, now ball two. Most pitches thrown in an inning thus far for Cohen Parsons was back in the second inning. He threw 31 pitches, and it's evident by that five spot on the scoreboard. The 2-1 swung on hard hit into left field, but right at Grant Lommers in left, and that'll retire the side. Nobody left on, but two runs come home to score courtesy of two balks. It's 8 nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. We'll be right back on WKLM. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEB Systems and Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MBB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MBB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mbbsystems.com. Get ready for Easter with these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have USDA Select Boneless Beef New York Strip Steak, $9.98 a pound. 20% off whole hams or half hams. 16 to 20 count cocktail shrimp for $8.69. We also have fresh ground chuck, $3.98 a pound. USDA Select Boneless Bottom Round Steak for $18 a pound. USDA Select Boneless Bottom Round Beef Roast, $3.98 a pound. And Pork Shoulder Pork Steak for $1.98 a pound. That's now through Saturday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in this last time up, first pitch, down low, ball one. Zach Smith, Jake Seidel, our entire crew here at Ridgewood. Welcome to opening day. It's finally here. The 1-0 from Schneider. Down low as well, 2-0. One of the few times Schneider has fallen behind in this one, and you know, you have to wonder early in the season here how long we're going to see these uh, pitchers stay in on this opening day start. The 2-0 finds the outside corner, strike one. Jackson Cabot playing center today. And your whole goal here on opening day is get that first hit, get that kind of monkey off your back. That one swung on. It's a pop-up over onto the left side of the infield. Falling down, making the play is the third baseman, Luke Hirschberger. And one retired here for Jace McQueen, who flew out the center his last time up. That's a great play there by Hirschberger. Falling down towards the line. He kind of made it so even if he dropped it, it could have been a foul ball. But... Uh, stuck with it the whole time on a little bit of a looping liner. Righty on righty matchup. McQueen, first pitch is down low. And I mean, the benefit of the massive run spot being put up on the top portions of these innings is Finn Schneider sitting in that dugout a long time. The pitch right there, strike one. And again, I mentioned it earlier, the umpire really favoring that outside half of the plate, and I think Schneider has realized that, getting a little more calls, a few more calls out there. Yoder still playing really shallow out there in center, the 1-1 inside. And that really can be a good defensive play, not just with the wind, but with the infield playing as far to the sides as they are. That's a massive spot right up the gut. The 2-1. Swung on. This one, a belter right at Yoder out in center. It's over his head. First hit of the ball game. Jace McQueen rounds first. He'll get into second standing. 
A one out double here and the first hit allowed against Schneider. Well, the conclusion of this ball game will be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game. That player will receive a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza, located at 4416 State Route 557 in Charm. So in trots Caleb Schultz playing at first base with a runner on for the first time today. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. McQueen over at second base. The pitch right down Main Street. Strike one. 8-0 the score here. Opening day. Highland on top. Courtesy of a massive five spot put up in the top of the second inning. Long look to second. Schneider's pitch is low. Ball one. That was pitch number 10 of the inning for Schneider. His longest of the night was 12 back in the first inning. McQueen dancing a little bit over at second base. The pitch swung on. It's tipped foul. And the count moves to one and two. And you know, Jake, my question right now is, do you even send Jace McQueen here? Well, he's not getting a very big lead, respectable lead. We haven't seen Schneider throw on the base path. He's dancing around there now. That one low. It's going to bounce away. McQueen going to get to third. Thought about rounding and heading all the way back, but it'll just stay at third base on a wild pitch. So the first run of this ball game, the first run of the general season, now 90 feet from home. A 2-2 count. And this kind of goes back to what I was talking about. How long do you leave those starting pitchers in? I imagine we won't see Parsons in the top half of the fifth inning. Schultz with a potential RBI opportunity. The 2-2 outside, and the counts run full at 3-2. and two. Carter Kelly, the DH, stands in the on-deck circle. McQueen over at third base. First base runner today, let alone the first hit for Ridgewood. Long look down the pitch. Swung on and missed on a ball down in the dirt. Hold the runner over at third base and the throw on is in time. Another strikeout and a 2-3 to three put out. And Jace McQueen remains at third base here for Carter Kelly. You know, Snyder's got a little breaking ball there. That reminds me a lot of uh, Trevor Bowers back when he was pitching in Cleveland. He could get anyone to swing on that pitch in the dirt, and he had a lot of those strikeouts that were completed 2-3. to three. Fourth strikeout of the day here for Finn Schneider. Brings in Carter Kelly. Low pitch. It's going to be ball one. Kelly flew out to the second baseman his last time up. It was on the first pitch, he swung on it back in the second inning. Schneider, that one right there, good breaking ball, strike number one. Yeah, I th think Schultz was leaving the bat on the shoulder whatever came his way that time, and I think he might uh, wish he had that pitch back. One that you could potentially do some damage with. And if you're sitting here and you're Kelly, your whole mindset, get that runner across. That one swung on, fouled into the backstop, strike two. Yoder playing a little deeper in center now than he was, but there's a big gap down the right center field uh, area. And the holes in left and right center are massive. Mason Kaiser on deck trying to get an opportunity to bat here in the inning. 1-2, runner on third. The pitch swung on. That one foul. And we'll do it again. Another one of the, we've seen that a few times. A little half swing bunt. Of course, not actually a bunt there as he did swing at it. So he gets to go back into the batter's box. But so far, Ridge would just have issues uh, picking up these pitches from Schneider. What a many pitchers this Highland Hawks team is going to have out on the mound this season. Schneider long look down to McQueen at third. The pitch down low. Ball two. McQueen was really sitting here trying to push the envelope over at third. No throw. It'll be deuces wild yet again. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. 
Remind you who's out in the field right now for Highland. Logan Yoder in left, Cody Yoder in center, Wyatt Miller in right, Hirschberger at third, Brady Yoder at short, Caden Candle at second, Caden Koblenz at first, and Hostetler back at catcher. That one a mile high pop up, drifting foul, and it will go into the bullpen off beyond third base. We'll do it again, 2-2. Two -two. The wind just kind of pushed that one out, and it was there. Hirschberger thought he'd have a play on it, and it was just out of his reach by the time he got to that left field bullpen. We talked about how Highland has started to really time up Cohen Parsons. It almost seems like the generals are just starting to eye pitches and watch him come, and really that patience that wasn't there early on in this game is starting to appear here in the bottom of the fourth. Eight nothing in favor of the Hawks. Schneider looks at McQueen. The pitch swung on and missed. Ball down in the dirt. Throw on to first base, but it doesn't matter. And another back-to-back -back K kind of inning for Finn Schneider. We head to the top of the fifth inning. Eight nothing Hawks. We'll be right back on WKLM. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Vikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Vikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fiker Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fiker Concrete. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hobron's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Here for the Generals is Robbie Gaston. First pitch outside, ball one. Parsons moving over to third base. Kaiser looks to be over at second base. The 1-0 swung on. It's popped up, but playable at shortstop. Jace McQueen makes the catch one away. So Hirschberger retire on a fly out to the shortstop, bringing in Hostetler and Miller to follow inside of the nine spot. Zach Smith, Jake Seidel, happy to have you with us here from Ridgewood High School in the top of the fifth. It's an eight nothing game in favor of the Hawks. First pitch, high, ball one. For Hostetler, one for one, was hit by a pitch back in the second inning, singled his last time up. That pitch, high and away, that'll be ball two. So Robbie Gaston, the righty on the mound. This one swung on and missed down in the dirt. Signals the end of the day for Cohen Parsons. We'll get you his final numbers here in just a moment. The 2-1 will be here first to host Stetler the pitch. Missed outside, ball three. Thus far, like his counterpart, Gaston having some trouble finding the zone. The 3-1. Outside, ball four. And Hostetler on for the third time today.
That'll bring in the right fielder, Wyatt Miller. 0 for 2, reached on an E4 back in the second inning. First pitch to him is high, ball one. Jake Seidel continues to calculate pitching numbers here to my <laughs> left. The pitch swung on. This one, a ground ball over to first base through the hole. Base hit. Runner going all the way over to third base is Hostetler. And Miller on with a one-out single here in the top of the fifth. Doesn't help that the wind is blowing all the papers around <laughs> here, Zach. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the wind hasn't really been a joke either. Coming in all day from left center. And in will come Koblenz. This is Caden. Having a good day thus far. Had a single back in the first. He grounded out his last time up. And then he got a walk in between. First pitch swung on. Over the head of the third baseman Parsons. That'll bring a run home. No, it's going to bring home more than one. Ball running past Grant Lommers. And the runner going to be held up over there at third base. Boy, oh boy. I thought Miller was going to be sent around. But stopped up at second base. Thinking that that ball was fielded by the left fielder. So crisis averted, but runners on third and second base with only one gone on an RBI single. That's the second RBI for Caden Koblenz. And a golden spot for Cody Yoder. Hit a double his last time up. Had a sack bunt back in the second inning and flew out to right field back in the first. One for two, that one swung on and missed on a ball down in the dirt. And an 0-2 count right now for the center fielder, Cody Yoder. The pitch, misses inside, ball one. Had to do a little skip to my Lou just to get out of the way of that pitch. So on that last A-B, Koblenz reached on a single and then a fielding error. That one right back up the gut base hit. That'll score maybe two. Coming around is Koblenz from third. Throw in, not in time. It'll be a two-run single. And if you thought this one was cracked open before, it's an 11-0 game. And that's going to force Ridgewood to score at least two in the bottom half of this inning to keep the game going. Two RBIs coming home. And in will come Koblenz. Still looking for his first hit of the afternoon. He's walked twice. Final line on Parsons goes four innings, giving up eight runs, five earned on five hits while walking six. He hit one and had three wild pitches. The 1 0 to Colin Koblenz is outside 2 0, and in with a diving steal is Cody Yader. Yoder, excuse me. I, I wrote the O on my scorecard, and it looks like an A. I blame my own penmanship. I knew there was a reason we're friends. Koblenz swings, it's that one foul down the right field line to 1. You know, usually my. Writing isn't that bad, but apparently I've developed cat scratch today. 2-1, one, one out. Runner on second base is Cody Yoder. Colin Koblenz will take down low. Now three and one. I tell you, Colin is just a magnet for walks right now. And just a pitch away from picking up walk number three on the young season. The pitch. Down low, there it is. So Koblenz reaches for the third time today via the free pass. The Kilbuck Savings Bank, Bank proudly supports local youth and hopes you knock it out of the park. In trots Brady Yoder, one for one, two walks. That one hit he had back in the second inning, two RBIs. Gaston struggling here in the top of the fifth inning. 
the pitch. Gaston, this one over the head of Parsons at third base yet again. That one going to be a single, and no run will come across. Yoder had the stop sign put on at third base, and the bases are loaded as Caden Candle will trot in. Base hits a plenty here inside of the fifth inning. Yoder at third, Koblenz at second, Brady Yoder at first. And Candle takes the first pitch outside, ball one. For Caden, thus far still looking for hit number one of the new campaign, currently 0 for 3 on the day. The pitch, a little bit high, ball two. Three runs already across here in the inning, and the Hawks searching for more. Wind roaring from left center. The pitch swung on, and it will be fair down the right field line. One run comes across. Two runs come across. Going for the trifecta, running around the side is Brady Yoder. He'll get in standing. A base is clearing double for Candle. And this one is a 14-0 game. And four RBI coming off the bat of Candle today as he clears the bases on that single. Man, that one was tough down the right field line. I wasn't sure if that was going to be fair or foul, but that one just tucking in right on the other side of first base fair. They got just inside the chalk down the first baseline, really right when it hit the cusp of the outfield grass. Courtesy of having a friend on a call with you who is an umpire. First pitch <laughs> swung on, sent into the gate, strike one. You know, it, it's funny, Zach. I. I I'm umpiring softball this spring. I referee soccer, and I really think it gives you a whole nother insight into the sport when you become an official for it. The 0-1 up high, 1-1. Third straight inning, Logan Yoder has come to the plate. He's singled, he's walked, and he's lined out. That one swung on over to first base, taking it on the one hopper is Schultz. He'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Actually, I think Logan Yoder, no, he was not at the plate in the first, but he's been at the plate all uh, four other Ever innings since. of this ball game. And now we bat it around, here's Hirschberger. So here's the question that I have for you, because it's, it's an age old question of what do you consider batting around? Is it when all nine guys come to the plate? Hirschberger lines it down the right field line right to the first baseman, Schultz, who takes it three and assisted. We're going to get Jake's insightful answer <laughs> at the bottom part of the inning. 14 nothing Hawks will head to the bottom of the fifth on WKLM. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pole that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right, Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. Back on the mound here for the bottom of the fifth inning. It's a 14-0 game. Kaiser, Reidenbaugh, and then Lommers to do battle here in the inning. Zach Smith, Jake Seidel, happy to have you with us here. Opening day from Ridgewood High School. And it's IVC action to do so. First pitch from Schneider is fouled down that third base line. Strike one. 
Generals need five runs to keep this one going here. Otherwise, that good old run rule will take into effect. You know, they have that, they must have added that to college baseball. The 0-1 missing outside 1-1. Because I remember uh, when we were up uh, calling some college games in our college days, I called one that was 19 to nothing, had to play all nine innings, but now I see run rules all the time in college uh, baseball. The 1-1 down that third baseline, solid throw down from there and pulling him off the bag. Reidenbaugh safe, or excuse me, Mason Kaiser safe. And now Chris Degas gonna come out and talk with our field umpire and see if he can get him together with our plate umpire. The umpire signaled that he came off the bag and that's why the call was safe. That was a great throw from Hirschberger at third. It appears though that Caden Koblenz's right foot got pulled off the bag. And, and now, now they're going to talk about it. Home plate umpire and field umpire. Right now, it's a single for Mason Kaiser. Able to beat out the throw. And it is going to stay a single. So Kaiser will remain at first base to bring in Logan Reidenbaugh. 0 for 1 with the strikeout swinging back in the second inning. So I want to go back to our conversation. What do you consider batting around? Nine batters in an inning, batting around. That's what I've always been told, and that's what I've always believed. First pitch swinging right at the shortstop, Brady Yoder. He'll make the catch. That one thrown away off of the throw over to first base. Getting in over to second base safely is the runner, Mason Kaiser. So a line out to shortstop, and then going to be an E6 allows Kaiser to advance to second. First error of the ball game for the Hawks. Second straight inning that a runner is going to be in scoring position. Remember, Chase McQueen made it on a double back in the fourth. And Lommers, who's 0 for 1, has an opportunity to bring a runner home in scoring position. The pitch swung on and missed, strike one. There's been a lot of first pitch swing in here by Finn Schneider, able to get guys out early and often. And it's helped him on a pretty solid night. Five strikeouts at this point. That one right there, strike two. A quick score update. West Holmes softball teams defeated Orville by the final score of 16 to nothing in their contest back in Millersburg. You know, I want to give my take on that whole batting round. It's when that batter who started the inning gets the bat again. First, that 0-2 down low. Trying to advance on the throw is the runner, and he's going to be called out at third base. Mason Kaiser caught stealing. And a 1-2 count, potentially the final pitch of the night here. Well, the conclusion of this ball game will be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game. That player will receive a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza located at 4416 State Route 5, 57 in Charm. One ball, two strikes. The pitch from Schneider down low, ball two. Parsons on deck, trying just to have an opportunity to bat here in the inning. Deuce is wild. The pitch. Swung on, tipped at the plate. We'll do it one more time. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Six runs coming across to score here in the top part of the inning. Pushing it 14 to nothing. The left fielder awaits the pitch. Righty on righty matchup, kicks and deals. That one gonna be inside, ball three. Good discipline. I don't know how you lay off that one, a high curve. I thought he had him on the back door there, if I'm being honest. I thought so as well. <laughs> Schneider's been dynamite. Looking for strikeout number six. The pitch inside, ball four, and Lommers We'll head over to first base and give an opportunity for Parsons. Cohen Parsons, who's currently slated to be tonight's losing pitcher, would like to try to make that deficit look a little bit better on the scorecard. Lommers at first. Parsons 0 for 1. Flew out to shortstop his last time up. First pitch swinging. Going to be a grounder right back to Schneider. Throwing to first, and that's the ball game. 
14-0 through five innings. The run rule takes into effect. And the Hawks 1-0 in their tournament or their title run repeat campaign. <laughs> I had to <laughs> I had my own tongue twister right there. 14-0. I'll stay tuned here on WKLM. The Denko Marketing Post Game Show comes your way next. Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hershberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where home ownership begins. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Firestone Farm Tires are the most preferred tires in America. Not only are they proven to be among the most productive farm tires you can buy, they're backed and serviced by the best trained and equipped farm tire dealer, the certified Firestone Farm Tire Dealer. So whether you need top quality Firestone Farm Tires or fast, dependable tire service, count on us to keep you rolling. Get your Firestone tires at Millersburg Tire Service. State Route 39, Millersburg. This is Emily Sheely of Berga Insurance. Farm ownership is a huge investment. Protect your investment with the right insurance policy. I proudly represent Buckeye Insurance Group, a company that has been insuring farms since 1879. Together, we can make sure you have coverage that meets your needs. Buckeye Insurance Group and Berga Insurance working together to protect you. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and culvert pipe and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jitters or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks. Thinking about adding a deck or a new door? MRV Siding Supply has 35 to 40 storm doors on display in their state-of-the-art showroom with sliding patio doors in a new trending colors. Choose from a selection of indoor patio doors, Aries patio doors, Aspect patio doors, and designer hinge patio doors. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Millersburg, along with Newark in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. Attention all homeowners, are you ready to welcome spring with new doors and windows? 
Join us at Wayne Doors annual spring sale from April 1st to the 6th and take advantage of our exclusive deals on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. Whether you're looking to boost your home's curb appeal or enhance its security, we've got you covered with top quality products at unbeatable prices from brands like Provia and Haas Door. Don't miss out on the opportunity to transform your home this spring. Visit WayneDoor.com today and let's make your home improvement dreams a reality. Unlock your potential at Buckeye Career Center's Spring Open House on Thursday, March 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. This is your chance to explore cutting-edge programs, meet passionate instructors, enjoy dinner, and apply for next school year at this combined high school and adult education event. Plus, join us for an alumni gathering in the Joe Carlisle Marketplace. The $50 adult education application fee will be waived for those who apply at the event. Join us Thursday, March 21st at Buckeye Career Center for our Spring Open House. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Back at Ridgewood, final score in this one in five innings. The Hawks get a win to start their title defense by the final score 14 to nothing over the Ridgewood Generals. The Hawks wasted no time getting things going here. In the first inning, Caden Koblenz would reach on an infield single. He'd be brought in later on a fielder's choice by Caden Candle. And the Hawks would have a one to nothing lead after one. And then they'd really break it open in the top of the second inning. After Logan Yoder reached on a single, Danny Hostetler was hit by a pitch, and Wyatt Miller would reach on an uh, fielder's choice. The bases would stay loaded due to an E4, and Caden Koblenz would get an RBI walk to make it 2 to nothing. Then it would be 3 nothing off an RBI sacrifice by Cody Yoder on a bunt 1-3. to three. Colin Koblenz would walk, then a big 2-RBI single from Brady Yoder would make the score 6 to nothing after two innings of play. Nothing in the third inning, but two more runs for the Hawks in the fourth inning after Cody Yoder led it off with a double. He had moved to third on a balk and come in on a wild pitch. Brady Yoder would move to second on, or pardon me, third on the wild pitch and come home on a second balk that inning. Six more runs came in the top of the fifth inning thanks to an RBI double from Caden Koblenz who will finish with three RBI. Coder, Cody Yoder would have a two RBI single. He'll finish with three RBI and a three RBI double from Caden Candle as he finishes the night with four runs batted in. Only two hits in this one from the Generals, one in the fourth inning and one in the fifth inning. We'll give you the final numbers after this from Denco Marketing. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. The winning pitcher in this one going to be Finn Schneider. He goes five innings, doesn't give up a run, gives up two hits while striking out five and walking one batter. He threw 59 pitches. The losing pitcher will be Cohen Parsons. He goes four innings, giving up eight runs, five earned on five hits while walking six, and he hit a batter, had three wild pitches. Robbie Gatson would come in and work one inning of relief, giving up six runs, all earned on five hits while walking two. So Finn Schneider will move to 1-0 and on this season. Cohen Parsons will move to 0-1, and, and Gatson will not factor into the decision. It took an hour and 23 minutes to play it. 
Highland will advance to 1-0 on the season and 1-0 in the IVC South. Ridgewood drops to 0-1 on the season and in the IVC South. Final line looks like this for the Hawks. 14 runs, 11 earned on 10 hits. They had one error, left five stranded for the Generals. No runs on two hits, one error. They stranded two. We'll come back with the player of the game and wrap it up with Zach Smith after this from Denco Marketing. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. So player of the game will be receiving a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza at 4416 State Route 5, 57 Charm. And Zach, I think uh, we're going to go with Finn Schneider, the starting pitcher in this one. A dominant performance from the word go. No runs on two hits, striking out five and walking just one, getting a five-inning complete game uh, win in his first start of the season. So Finn Johnson, or pardon me, Finn Snyder. <laughs> Uh, going to be our charm pizza player of the game. And Zach, the Hawks really uh, jumped on this one early and never looked back. It was really hard to sit here and just say Finn Schneider because this was what the definition of a complete team game is. When you have as many guys get on base as you do and all the runs score that you do, those are all testaments to how well this team played right out of the gate. And we heard from Coach earlier on, you know, Coach Davis said, we didn't have some of these guys in the building just because of the how deep the basketball season ran. But the guys who have been in here were itching and chomping at the bit to get ready for a game like this. And it showed. And they came out and they played really, really well. Finn Schneider out on the mound was dynamite. Five strikeouts, attacking hitters right away, not allowing Ridgewood to get comfortable inside the box. And by the time that you started timing up those pitches and getting on base back in the fourth inning, it was too late. You're already down a significant number, and it's hard to come back when you're just allowing base runner after base runner early on. Well, these two teams will do battle again on Wednesday at Lehman Field in Berlin. Uh, we'll have that game for you here on FM 95.3 in the WKLM YouTube channel as these two teams look to continue uh, IVC South play and prepare to uh, move on with the rest of their season. But, uh, Zach, really uh, first uh, ball game of the year, beautiful weather for it, and now it's going to be good for each team to just have one under their belts. A little chilly with the wind. <laughs> I'm sitting up here in the press box shivering after, you know, you went and got your coat earlier in, this <laughs> in the broadcast. But overall, it was a great game and a great way to remember that, hey, baseball's back. Well, that's going to about do it for us here, everyone. Real quick, a few thank yous to send out. First, Michael Hammond back at WKLM Sports Central, pushing all those buttons for us today and making sure you can hear us here on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Our video crew from Claxon Communications today, Judd Bone, our producer, Aiden Garibrandt, and John Wayne, our videographers, and, of course, Zach Smith here. Uh, with me. Always great to work with you, Zach, especially getting to call a baseball game. Uh, it's like back in our heyday, <laughs> back in Bowling Green. Well, it's great to work with you, and uh, again, final score in this one, 14 nothing. The Hawks get their first win on the season as they look to defend their 2023 state title. For Michael Hammond, Judd Bone, Aiden Garibrandt, John Wayne, and Zach Smith, I am Jake Seidel signing off, reminding you to stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow here on WKLM. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for watching High School Baseball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.